To stay updated, subscribe to TJA Academy. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Auto Regressive Distributed Lag ARDL Model. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of ARDL model, including ARDL co-integration, long run and short run coefficient and long run adjustment means error correction form. As discussed in previous lectures that what is autoregressive model? In autoregressive model, the independent variables are all lagged dependent variable. There is no other independent variable. Let's consider this model where dependent variable is C shows the consumption of current time period. CT shows the consumption of current time period. Where independent variable CT minus 1, this CT minus 1 shows the consumption of one period ago and CT minus 2, this one shows the consumption of two periods ago. This is autoregressive model. Now, what is distributed lag model? When an independent variable appears in a regression more than once with different time lag, it is a distributed lag model. It has this name because the influence of independent variable is spread out or distributed across several time period. Consider this model where C is the consumption as discussed above and INC is income. The influence of income on consumption spreads across three time period. T shows the current time period. T minus one shows one period ago and T minus two shows income of two period ago. Where beta one this one Beta 1 measures the change in consumption associated with a 1 unit change in income in period T. Keeping income in periods T minus 1 and T minus 2 constant. Where beta 2 measures the change in consumption associated with a unit change in income in period T minus 1 keeping income in period t and t minus 2 constant and the same logic applies to beta 3. This is distributed lag where the effect of independent variables dip distributed across several time period here current one period ago and two period ago. So this is autoregressive model where all independent variable is nothing but lagged dependent variable and this is the distributed lag model where the effect of independent variable is spread out or distributed across several time period. So when we combine AR and DL, we obtain ARDL model as follows. Here C is the consumption as discussed, C T minus 1 is the consumption of one period ago, C T minus 2 is the consumption of two period ago. This is autoregressive part and at the same time here I and C shows the income of current period, income of one period ago, income of two period ago. This shows the distributed lag part and when we combine this autoregressive and distributed parts, the whole model is called autoregressive distributed or ARDL model. Now, ARDL co-integration. ARDL co-integration is used when considered variables have different order of integration. That is, some variables are stationary at level and some are stationary at first difference. For this purpose, ARDL co-integration or bound test is used. 
if f stats is greater than the value of upper bound this shows there is there is cointegration if if obtained f stats is in between the value of upper bound and lower bound this shows the result is inconclusive and the third one if f stats is less than the value of lower bound this shows there is no cointegration equation of ardl cointegration or bound test is different from ardl equation as discussed above but we will not discuss it now here the application of ardl model on eviews ardl cointegration or bound test on eviews here we are using the following model by using the time series data of us from 1980 to 2020 remittances is the dependent variable and gross domestic product and inflation are independent variables both gdp and remittance in log form inflation is already in rate here these are the steps taken to apply ardl model now we are going to our eviews file this is our eviews file now this is you can see the sample period is 1980 to 2020 and our model is remittance is a function of gdp and inflation now step 1 check the stationarity of all time series variable by unit root test if variables have different order of integration that is some variables are stationary at level and some are stationary at first difference then move towards ardl cointegration now how can we apply uh, the uh, unit root test as discussed in previous lectures but just for read the process here when we choose remittance open the remittance variable go to view unit root test this is level this is intercept hypothesis is remittance has a unit root and this is accepted again view unit root test trend and intercept okay this is accepted p the series is not stationary at level so view unit root test first difference intercept now the hypothesis is rejected it means series is stationary at first difference again we can check with trend and intercept the same result it means remittance is the variable that is stationary non stationary at level and stationary at first difference now use gdp go to view unit root test level intercept here the value shows the series is non stationary at level view trend and intercept this value also shows the gdp is non stationary at level first difference intercept okay the hypothesis is rejected it mean the series is stationary at first difference view unit root test trend and intercept okay the value also shows that gdp is stationary at first difference now our third variable is inflation inflation rate we view unit root test level intercept okay oh the inflation is inflation is stationary at level you can check with another option result the same it means remittance and gdp are stationary at first difference and on the other hand inflation is stationary at level 
so uh, as we have discussed if variable have different order of integration that is some variable are stationary at level and some are stationary at first difference then move towards ARDL co-integration so uh, this data shows uh, ARDL co-integration is appropriate for a model so this is the first step run regression model by selecting ARDL in section how run the regression model go to quick estimate equation write remittance as the dependent variable then constant and independent variables are GDP and inflation then select as discussed the selecting ARDL in method section in method section go to ARDL and this is ARDL model so these are the maximum legs appropriate leg will be selected automatically so this is remittance are dependent variable GDP and inflation are independent variable for the period of 1980 to 2020 now uh, press ok this is the result of ARDL model now the second step in appeared result this result this one this is the appeared result in appeared result go to view coefficient diagnostics go to view coefficient diagnostics and then long run form and bound test for co-integration for long run coefficient go to view coefficient diagnostics long run form and bound test for long run coefficient right when we press ok first we have to consider the value of this f statistics the value of f statistics is 10.71 as discussed above if f stats is greater than value of upper bond this shows there is co-integration if f stats is in between the value of upper bond and lower bond this shows the result is inconclusive if f stats is less than the value of lower bond this shows there is no co-integration so here this is the value of lower bond and these are the values of upper bond this is at 10%, this is at 5%, this is a 2.5% level of significance, and this is at 1%. So here our value of F statistics is 10.71, which is greater than this value, means this upper bound value at 1% level. So here if F stats is greater than the value of upper bond, this shows there is co-integration. It means their co-integration exists in our model now this table shows the long run coefficient so here we can see GDP has significant positive effect on remittance and on the other hand inflation has significant negative effect on remittance now go to view coefficient diagnostics and select error correction form go to view coefficient diagnostics and select error correction form for short run coefficient and long run adjustment as discussed in our error correction model these are the short run coefficients and this is the long run adjustment this is negative and significant significant which shows the model will adjust monotonically the value is less than one this shows the model will adjust monotonic monotonically as discussed in our error correction video so this is the process of uh, ARDL co-integration with long run and short run form in e-views if this video helps you to understand the concept of ARDL model 
and ARDL code integration with the application and e-views. So like the video and share my channel TJ Academy. Thank you.